Hello Internet, welcome to another Antenna tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we are going to plot the radiation pattern of broadside array. Now in the previous tutorial, uh, we discussed that broadside array has principal maximas at 90 degrees and 270 degrees and principal minimas at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. That goes to show that if we plot the radiation pattern one major lobe will be created at 90 degrees and another major lobe will be created at 270 degrees and the principal null the angle of no radiation will be 0 degrees and 180 degrees but when the number of antenna elements increase for example we take a broadside array of six elements and all of them are separated by a distance of lambda by two when that happens some stray energy will also be radiated apart from 90 and 270 degrees now the angles at which that stray energy is radiated is known as the side lobes and between all those side lobes there will be nulls and there is a formula to calculate the side lobes and nulls for the broadside array that depends upon uh, I've written down the formulas here by the way and you could note this down and in this formula capital N is going to be an integer that will start from 1 and will test all the integers up up to the value where um, cos inverse has valid angles coming up and small n is number of elements d is the distance between the elements now for example in this case of six element broadside array we will calculate side lobes first for capital N is equal to 1 so we'll calculate cos inverse so this goes 2 into 1 plus 1 into lambda upon 2 into 6 which is the number of elements into lambda by 2 which is the distance between the elements so our first side lobe should come at an angle of um, so this becomes 3 by 6 or we could use the calculator now we can go to cos inverse 1 by 2 uh, I'm sorry we'll need to select radians Uh, I'm sorry, we'll need to select degrees and 
will select now and this becomes 60 degrees similarly for n is equal to 2 we get cos inverse this remains same so this becomes cos inverse 5 by 6 this should also give us a valid value this is 33.55 now if we do for n is equal to 3 so this will give us an invalid value for cos inverse greater than 1 is not so this will give us 7 by 6 for which we will not get any valid value of an angle so we have found these side lobe angles so there are going to be two side lobes in each quadrant and we can plot the other side lobes by mirror image and superimposing for example the first side lobe is going to be now when the side lobes are present the main lobe will be a little squashed up so le let's say my first side lobe is at 60 degrees my second side lobe is at 33 degrees so I can extrapolate this here and I can extrapolate this here and so on and the mirror image of 60 will give us a side lobe at 120 and so on so all in all we'll get eight side lobes and to calculate the nulls we have this formula so we start putting the values of cos inverse 1 into lambda upon 6 into lambda by 2 so this go this becomes 1 by 3 cos inverse so cos inverse 1 by 3 is 70 degrees so this tells you that uh, at, at 70 degrees you'll find a null so uh, <clears throat> so you now understand that your main lobe will be restricted to uh, 70 degrees in the first quadrant and so on similarly you'll find other nulls by putting the value of uh, capital N you find a valid value of cos inverse and that is how you basically plot the radiation pattern of a broadside array uh, with many elements which only depends upon number of elements and distance between elements I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and keep watching the series for uh, other antenna design and theory and thank you so much for watching the video have a good day and a good life bye